nerds, Kate here. Today's words are all about my latest read, Echo North by Joanna Ruth Meyer. Echo North is a 2019 fantasy novel that combines elements of Beauty and the Beast, East of the Sun and West of the Moon, and Tamlin. As you probably know, I am a huge fan of retellings and of those stories especially. The story follows a young girl named Echo Alkaev who agrees to make a trade with a magical talking wolf. She will live with him for a year in exchange for her father's life. I don't want to give too much away, but if you're at all familiar with Beauty and the Beast or East of the Sun and West of the Moon, you already know where the story is going. <laughs> My favorite part of this story was the magic. Echo and the wolf live in an enchanted house. Rooms come and go, items can appear when asked for, and there's always something new to discover. Of course, such a house is not without its share of dangers. The magic holding the house together has nearly run out. For a while, Echo and the wolf can use a needle and thread to sew the magic holding the rooms back together, but eventually even that stops working. It's a really unique concept that kept me intrigued and wanting to learn more. In my opinion, and in Echo's opinion as well, the best part of the house is the library. That shouldn't surprise anyone. <laughs> Not only is it extensive, but it's enchanted. There are normal books, of course, and there are mirror books, large enchanted pieces of glass that pull the reader into the story to experience it as a bystander or as a participant. I need one of those libraries, okay? Overall, Echo North was a really fun read. I give it three out of four wolf paws. On a less literary note, I'm going to be changing how I do my reviews moving forward. I recently started a Goodreads account, don't judge me, I'm slow on the uptake, okay? Where I plan to post in-depth reviews of all of the books I'm reading. While I'll still do a monthly review here on my YouTube channel, I don't want to just repeat what I've written out there. So every month I'll pick one of the books I've read recently and briefly share one or two of the things that I really enjoyed about it and an overall score or recommendation. So if you're wanting something a little more detailed, you can connect with me on Goodreads. I'll put a link to my profile in the description of this video or you can find it at my website kgjameson.com. Speaking of my website, you can check it out for more of my words about books, fairy tales, and magic. Leave a comment below and let me know what's your favorite retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I'm always on the lookout for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you will see me next time, word nerds.